What's up, y'all? Welcome to Fight Club. I'm your host, Robert Durden, and this is the more lighthearted of the two episodes I'm doing today. I am going to kick Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden in the teeth. So there's going to be a an infrastructure bill floated here pretty soon. And, uh, you know, I just did an episode three days ago on how to pay for it because it was being floated as a $3 trillion bill. And now I've seen that it's a $2.5 trillion bill. And who made the Democrats immediately, like, go from 3 to 2.5? They're already whittling themselves down for no reason whatsoever. So it's gone from $3 trillion to possibly $2.5 trillion in three days for no reason whatsoever. It's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. These Democrats, they want to give up. They're not in there fighting for you. They're in there to compromise and let the Republicans drag them to the right. So, um... That's the first thing I'm super pissed about is that it's already gone down in price tag and even at three trillion, it was anemic. So this is exactly what you get. Thanks a lot if you voted for Biden, by the way. This is exactly what we expected. Everybody, every burner knew this is exactly what we were gonna get. And now we're gonna get a you know a nine hundred billion dollar infrastructure bill that fills our potholes with like cornstarch. Thanks. Um, so here's what frustrates me about what Elizabeth Warren did. So she is been pushing since mid-March to get a wealth tax implemented. And why do I know that? Because I read it and I did an episode on it and I was furious about it. And if you guys remember correctly, why I was furious about it is because she just kneecapped Bernie, the only person that could have possibly gotten a wealth tax implemented for Biden, by the way, stabbed Bernie in the back by staying in Super Tuesday when she was mathematically eliminated just so Bernie would lose a lot of those northern and east coast states and he did because they split the vote and Biden won the presidency. Biden is not president if Elizabeth Warren doesn't do that. Fuck a Barack Obama, fuck a Amy Klobuchar, fuck a Pete Buttigieg. They can do all they want and drop out whoever they want but if Elizabeth Warren drops out before Super Tuesday doesn't matter. Bernie still wins. Bernie still beats Biden. She is the person most responsible for everything Biden does because of her actions in the primaries. So ask yourself why she'd be pushing a wealth tax for a president who isn't going to implement a wealth tax was what I was making the video about. And lo and behold, Joe Biden came out yesterday, according to Politico, he's not even going to pursue a wealth tax, not even Warren's wealth tax, let alone Bernie's awesome, like, uh, highly progressive tiered wealth tax that we went over. No, they're not even going to do the 2% wealth tax on um, households over $50 million worth of wealth. And this is supposed to be FDR-like? Okay, I'm, that's why I'm frustrated with Biden. But I knew he wasn't going to do a wealth tax. I called it. I've, I've been saying it for months now. That's why I made that first video. So ask yourself, does Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren not know that? Is she stupid? Because I've seen a lot of people out there, they're acting like um, people like Elizabeth Warren or like the squad, for instance, are just, they're well-meaning. They just don't understand how to get things done. They're bad at politics. No, I disagree thoroughly. Uh, I disagree. I think that Elizabeth Warren and the squad are all smart people deliberately acting dumb as a scapegoat and allowing themselves to get nothing done and just pretending like, you know, um, it's... It's, you know, too complicated for you to understand. It's, it's way more complicated than anybody that isn't actually in politics actually realizes. Bullshit. You're gaslighting. Elizabeth Warren knew exactly what she was doing when she stayed in on Super Tuesday, and she knew that her wealth tax would not ever see the light of day with Biden. So why does she do it? Because she's a wolf in sheep's clothing. She wants the facade that she's a progressive. So what she does is she'll talk a big talk about how she's, you know, for something like a wealth tax or how she agrees with Bernie on certain things, but then she'll go in at the at the finish line when Bernie is about to be able to implement the things that she espouses to agree with him on. She kneecaps him, makes sure he loses, and puts the guy in office that she knows isn't going to actually put those things into place. So she's either stupid, but she's not. She did this on purpose. She's lying. She's lying. She's not for a wealth tax. She's on. She's talking about it because she wants to seem progressive. That's the optics she wants for herself. But she doesn't do anything to actually fight for these things. And in fact, the opposite is true. Every time there's a chance for us to get something done, 
Elizabeth Warren is one of the first people that will do something like that, like stab Bernie in the back. It would have been just so easy. She could have been his VP and get, gotten this wealth tax done right now. But no, because she is establishment, because she is a wolf in sheep's clothing at best, she's just gonna, uh, she'll do what the, her corporate masters tell her, but with the facade of being progressive. And people aren't gonna forget about that on the left, by the way. She's not just a snake, she's like a ball of snakes. She's like Medusa, dude. We should call her Medusa Warren from now on. She's not just one, she's like a big giant ball of snakes. Because if you really wanted a wealth tax, why did you kneecap Bernie, bitch? That simple. So I'm super frustrated because now she'll go out there and go, I want a wealth tax, but I put the guy in office that could never have passed one. Like nobody's going to notice. So I am super tired of Elizabeth Warren. And by the way, this is the reason why I get, I hate Elizabeth Warren more than I hate somebody like, even like some of these older Republicans that are like so obviously outdated, they speak their mind, but they're so obviously inhumane that you can tell that at least they're being honest about their draconian ideas. So at least you know what they're telling you is what they actually believe. Whereas Elizabeth Warren believes what a lot of these older Republicans do, like a lot of conservatives do, but she will act like she's a progressive. That's what wolf in sheep's clothing means. That's why she got the nickname Snake and absolutely fucking deserves it. It's because she is, in a way, much worse. If you've ever seen any movies that have two villains, it's always, you know, there's always like the, the dumb, big brawn, but then there's always the, the, the smart one behind the scenes, the conniving one, the one that's willing to make deals and stab you in the back. Those are the real like villains in real life like anybody knows that in in any movie like that the one that you really should fear do you feel do you fear harvey dent or the joker more i mean what like you and so that's why i get frustrated with people that are asking me why i go after somebody like elizabeth warren or even the squad so much as opposed to like ted cruz or some of these guys that are so off the wall crazy obviously inhumane it's because it's it, it's obvious to everybody that these people are out of their minds on the right what isn't obvious is what Elizabeth Warren is doing behind the scenes to dismantle progressivism while on her, but everything she says in public is faux progressive. She, she's convinced everybody that she's almost like Bernie, but because people don't know any better, they, they assume that's true. No, she's just as bad as somebody like Ted Cruz. She just pretends to be progressive, which I would argue is far more nefarious and needs far more inspection and ridicule than somebody on the right. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she makes fun of herself. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to make fun of her all the time. Dave Rubin, all these guys are, they're, they're clowns. So I don't have to go after the Republicans. They're clowns already. I, I need to expose and show you the people that purport to be on the left that do everything they can to stop the left. The Benedict Arnolds. The fucking Medusa. So that's that's what I gotta say about Elizabeth Warren. Had I seen this before the shithead of the week came out yesterday, she would have taken it hands down. And I don't want to wait long enough to do another one in seven days and wait for this story to pass to, po to poke fun at her because she absolutely sucks. There's almost no one I hate more than Elizabeth Warren. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure there's... I mean, there's only maybe two or three people that I hate more than Elizabeth Warren. And, uh, bitch, if you really wanted a wealth tax, you wouldn't have kneecap Bernie, and you know it. You can go straight to hell. So, um, she is the shithead of the week. Um, I'm giving it to her, even though I didn't give it to her in the last episode. Keep fighting the good fight out there, guys. I'll see you later.